What's going on guys? It is Jordan here. And in this video, I titled it Body Game. When you are jacked and you can attract girls, men will hate on you. So before we hop into the video, if you want help when it comes to leveling up your looks, when it comes to dialing in your physique and achieving your dream physique, and being able to attract the women that you want to you, especially if you just got out of a bad breakup or you're not satisfied with the quality of women that you are currently attracting and you want to be able to attract more quality women, which will only happen as you become more of a quality man, then I would highly suggest that you check out my free IAB training that will break down step-by-step -step how you can actually achieve this. I'll have a link down below in the description and the pinned comment as well. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and let's hop into the video. So guys, when you're jacked, when you're in shape, when you have a masculine aesthetic physique, you have like either that athletic look to you, maybe you look like a bodybuilder, but usually it's the lean aesthetic more athletic look that seems to do the best in my opinion still get in the best shape that you possibly can for you but i believe by and large that type of physique does do the best when it comes to just looking more aesthetic attracting women functionality all that good stuff right when you're in shape when you're jacked man other men are going to hate on you i promise you other men are going to hate on you so be ready for that, whether you're already in shape now or you are on your way to becoming in shape, whether you're on a weight loss journey or you're on a lean bulk journey, either way, just be prepared for other men to hate on you. Now, why do other men hate on you when you're jacked, when you're in shape? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but the major reason is because you are threatening their ability or their chances rather to attract girls, to attract women. You're threatening their ability, their ability to be able to get women because they know that your physique is going to be attractive to women, which is funny when people say that looks don't matter. It's like, okay, well, if looks don't matter, then why do men hate on other good looking men or hate on men that are in shape? It's because they know that those men are going to be able to attract women. Those women are going to find them physically attractive. So that goes, that just disproves the whole argument that looks don't matter, right? But you're basically amplifying men's insecurity. You're amplifying their insecurity because they know that they're not in shape. They know that they don't look good. They know that they don't feel confident in themselves when they look in the mirror. And you are just a physical representation of what they wish they did have, but they don't. So therefore, unintentionally, you amplify their insecurity. And since you're amplifying their insecurity because you've been able to build an aesthetic, jacked, masculine body that women love and are into, they're going to hate on you as a way to cope with the pain of having those insecurities. Which is crazy because it's like, well, bro, why don't you just get into the gym? Why don't you just, you know, start to track your lifts, track your calories, whether you, you need to cut body fat, lean bulk to put on size? Why don't you put in the work? And that is because a lot of men are lazy. A lot of men aren't willing to put in the work. See, I think what's funny is that men will hate on other men that are in shape. But it's like, bro, you know damn well if you had a magical button where you can push the button and you'll magically achieve the body that you've always wanted to you know, secretly achieve, if you could just hit a button and, and achieve whatever body you wanted, you know damn well every man on the planet would hit that button. It's just most men don't wanna put in the work. They're lazy, maybe they don't know how, maybe they don't believe that they can achieve the body that they want. Maybe they just have so many, you know, insecurities or more so, um, negative self-belief you know they have a lot of reasons as to why they can't achieve a jacked aesthetic body versus having reasons why they could you know there's a lot of factors but you're going to find that you're going to amplify a lot of men's insecurities and especially when they're very out of shape it's so obvious as far as the, the disparity from the man being out of shape versus you well you're also amplifying his laziness you're amplifying other men's laziness because without you saying anything and you and mind you a lot of times you're going to experience hate from other men when you're just minding your own business which just goes to show you that that's truly hate if you're minding your own business and some dude randomly starts talking shit about you or says something crazy to you and you don't even know who who he is you know what i mean like you're not even you don't even know like dude just came out the cut just randomly talking stuff if something like that happens, that's how you truly know it's hate. 
I'll give you an example. So a client of mine, we were having a one-on-one -on -one coaching call and he told me how he was at a grocery store, um, just grocery shopping, he was in line and he's been losing a lot of weight. So whenever he loses weight, one of the first places that he loses weight is in his legs. And he told me that a, a dude behind him, I think says something like, oh, are you, when are you gonna do leg day you know, with those legs and those like short shorts or something like that. It was something to that effect, which by the way, it's actually dudes who care more about the leg aesthetics and the size of other men's legs more than women care about the aesthetics and, and the size of other men's legs. I just want to point that out. I don't know what's up with you dudes being so obsessed with other men's legs. Like a, a man's legs are never big enough. Like you can, this dude can be like jacked. He can squat like, 500 plus pounds i don't know and actually have good leg development but he he will still be told that he has chicken legs by another man and the reason why i say that is because it's usually other men who make comments like that women from the conversations i've had with women they've told me that they just care about a man having really quad development and some aspect of a glute development like as long as you have some muscle mass to your legs, some quad definition and some glutes to you, you're good. You don't have to have gigantic legs or anything like that. It's other men who care more about that, by the way. I'm just telling you how it is. Other men care more about men's legs than women do. But either way, it's like, well, why did that dude hate on my client? Because that guy was out of shape. Because if you, listen, man, if you if you were really secure with yourself, if you really thought of yourself as that dude, if you were really getting results out here with women, and just more importantly, if you were confident in yourself, you wouldn't be making comments like that. Like I could easily roast a lot of the people that I see in person because I'm in shape, because I lift weights, because I do martial arts, but I don't. Why? Because number one, I don't care to, that's just not the type of person I am. Number two, I have my I have my dream body. I have the body that I've always wanted to have when I was a kid. I'm doing shit that I've always wanted to do when I was a kid. I lift weights. I'm strong. I look good. I know how to fight. Some people in the comments are probably going to say something different, but I mean, go ahead. But that's how I that's how I think of you and myself, which is the most important aspect, which is why it's important how you think and view of yourself more importantly and not worry about what other people are saying. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm in abundance in that regard. I'm confident in myself because of the work that I put in. So why do I need to go out of my way to roast somebody else, especially when I know that I started from zero? Whether well, someone that's overweight. Okay, I was never overweight. I was never obese, but I, was, I did start from zero, which was being very skinny, not liking my body, weak mentally and physically, insecure. But I, you know, I, I took care of those things. I turn my weaknesses into strengths. So why do I need to go, why do I need to go weaken men who already feel weak mentally and physically themselves? And that's not me being disrespectful or trying to be funny or, or, or kick somebody when they're down. And that's exactly why I bring that up. Cause it's like, why kick somebody when they already are down? Cause you telling me that these dudes who are out of shape or these dudes who are very skinny don't feel that way. Most men are insecure. Most men, you know, wish that they look different most dudes are going to tell you that that's not true because they want to save face they don't want they don't want to appear soft but it's the truth it's just most people don't do a damn thing about it and a way that men think that they're doing something about their fitness about improving their appearance is by not only not actually doing something but actually talking shit about your body thinking that that's going to do something it's similar to like how that it's it's really no different than when a guy is trying to talk shit about you in front of a girl thinking that that's going to make the girl more attracted into him but actually it's going to only amplify her attraction for you like because i've had dudes that will try to like roast me or try to make comments in, uh, in front of a girl that was feeling me and i didn't and this was more when i was younger but at the time i didn't realize it like oh that dude did that he tried to roast me in front of this girl because he knew this girl was feeling me and he was insecure. So he was gonna try to appear to be more attractive in her eyes by trying to roast me in front of her. But if anything, that only made her more attracted to me because she saw that that dude was talking shit about me. 
which was only propping me up. That's another thing. When dudes talk shit about you, man, when you're jacked, when you have the physique, when dudes talk shit about you, especially from another girl, they're only propping you up. You, you dig that, right? They're only, it doesn't matter what they're saying. And the fact that the attention's on you, they're propping you up. They're only making you, they're only making you even bigger. They're, they're putting a bigger light on you. And they think, again, they're, they're doing something. It's just a coping mechanism. It's like the equivalent of putting a Band-Aid on a broken arm. They think they're doing something. They think that they're, you know, flexing in front of the girl. They think that the girl is going to find them, uh, find that dude attractive. It's only going to make her actually less, <laughs> even more uh, less attractive, if that makes sense. She's only going, her attraction for that man is only going to decrease. While if she's into you, it's going to increase even more. Because that dude talking shit about you, regardless if he's talking shit about you, he's still put, putting spotlight on you. He's still putting attention on you. So he's raising you up. Regardless if he's doing all this, he's still raising you up. And everybody knows, the girl knows, the people around you knows that if somebody's talking shit about you or trying to make a little slick comment about your muscles, say, oh, look at your pretty muscles or, oh, you know, he needs to watch what he eats because he can't, you know, God forbid if he doesn't eat chicken breast and broccoli i've never had anyone say that to me but like you know people will make comments like that i've heard other people say comments like that to other people when people do that it it's only showing their cars it's only showing where they're coming from mentally right because th again there's no I, i'm not hating on people out here why do i need to hate i'm in shape why, why do I care to go out of my way to talk shit about somebody else that isn't in shape? That's not going to do anything for me. I don't have anything to gain from that. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing, man. Like, at the end of the day, hate only comes from the bottom. Hate only comes from the bottom. Hate only comes from men who are threatened by you. Because why else would they hate on you? Especially if it's like what I told you with my client when he was minding his own business. And, and the dude was behind him. He didn't even know the dude was there until the dude says something about his legs, right? Hate only comes from the bottom. Hate only comes from dudes who are threatened by you. And a lot of men, because they're very needy, they're very controlled by their biology, because they're very controlled by their lust, it's like, especially when they see that you can get women, because that's the thing, just like how women assume that you got a lot of options that you can attract other women because they find you physically attractive. Men think the same thing as far as they assume that you got other women too, but they're looking at it from a lens of competition with you. They look at it as you taking them, taking all their options of women. It's almost like they, they, they're trying to like, they talk shit to you and they're trying to be, you know, kind of confrontational as a way to like make guard in a sense, but they got no girl to make guard. You know what I mean? That's why they talk stuff. That's why they're going to, that's why they're going to make the little slick comments because they know that they're threatened by you or else, because it, it, listen, especially if you don't know who this dude is, like if it's some random dude, like at a grocery store or some random dude at like a bar or lounge says something crazy to you because you're in shape, because you're jacked, but don't let the dude see girls approach you and choose up on you. I've, ha I've had situations like that. I've had situations like that where I've seen girls choose up on me, same girls that dudes try to get at, but those girls weren't giving that dude any time of day other than just finessing him for drinks, but then coming to me and being all, all over me and wouldn't leave my side. And I would see how those dudes would look at me. They looked at me like they wanted to take me out. They were insecure. They were jealous. They were pissed off. You know what I'm saying? That's how a lot of these dudes feel when they see other men who are jacked who are in shape and they know they can attract other women, whether they've seen it actually happen in their very eyes in front of them, like in that scenario I just gave, or they're gonna assume that you can attract women because you're in shape, because they know that women want dudes who are in shape, which is crazy to me that people try to deny that. Like, it, we, we buy things, we're attracted to things based on the appearance. That happens a lot when we buy products, the car, the car that we drive, the cars that we want, mainly the attraction to that to that car is the appearance of it. If you're gonna go watch a movie, well, visually you're seeing a movie, right? You're seeing the motion picture. 
you're seeing the appearance of the movie and that's going to determine whether or not you want to go see it same thing with food have you ever gone to a restaurant and you're like you know sitting at your table and then you look at the let's say the couple or the group of people next to you who are eating their food they just got their food and, and somebody has a a plate of food that just looks really good so you go and you ask them like hey man like i don't mean to interrupt your meal but what did you order that looks really good again appearance when you go buy clothes and shoes what is that appearance we get sold and we're attracted to to appearance so why the hell does that go out the window when it comes to human interactions attracting women you know what i'm saying i think that's so crazy and the fact that some of you guys believe that shit too is in, is even more insane but i mean hey you do what you want but anyways man at the end of the day as i said hate comes from the bottom these dudes are only hating on you because they know that they wish that they had what you had and for whatever reason because they lack the work ethic because they can't take action they can't dedicate themselves to anything for a long time they can't stay consistent they know that they can't attract women but instead of doing something about it they talk shit about you the only problem is it only makes them look more weak it only makes them look more insecure because they're showcasing their insecurity they're wasting time doing that because it's not moving them up it's not progressing them in any way and if they're doing this to you in front of a girl that's even worse because they are boosting your attraction in front of that girl because they're raising you above them by talking about you and giving you attention see that's the thing like if you were at, that's okay so it's like usually if, if like if you were out of shape most people wouldn't talk shit about you unless they were out of shape too rarely is somebody who's in shape going to talk shit about you because again they're by and large they're secure with themselves they're they're good they're taken care of and if they do talk shit about you for whatever reason that person is still very insecure and has a lot of stuff that they need to work on you know what i mean because most of the people that get into the gym most men that get into you know lifting weights a lot of the times they did it because they were insecure a lot of the times they did it because they wanted to attract women that was i mean I'm, i don't care to admit this that was that was my motivation when i was younger if i could go back in time i would have made the motivation more about me as far as like getting into the gym and actually being motivated to take to take action and build my body because i wanted to do it for me 100 percent. but hey it, that, that's just how my story unfolded but yeah man the hate comes from the bottom men are going to talk shit about you because they're threatened by you and if they're threatened by you it's because you're doing something right and you're doing something that they wish that they could do you have something that they wish that they could have but for whatever reason they don't so don't let their words stop you from you know doing what you're doing staying on your grind staying consistent and being the best version of yourself so with that being said again if you want extra help when it comes to leveling up your looks, becoming the most handsome and attractive version of yourself, and being able to improve your quality of options when it comes to attracting women. That way you don't feel like you're settling for women that you don't actually want, or if you're just getting out of a bad breakup and you want to use this time and use your breakup as fuel to really put in the word to level yourself up physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and of course as a result of loving yourself up so will your results and your quality of options when it comes to attracting women will improve as well again if you want to learn how you can do that yourself step by step i will show you exactly how to do that inside the iab training which I, again i'll have a link down below in the description and the pinned comment and if you got a lot of value from this video please give it a like subscribe for more videos like this and with that being said i will talk to you in the next video